morning guys happy saturday i just woke up it's 9 30 well no i didn't just wake up i just got done doing my um you know daily face wash routine and now i am trying to figure out what i am going to do um please don't mind the huge zit in the middle of my forehead my skin has been acting up um but yeah last night we went out to eat with some friends this is too low for me we went out to eat with some friends and we went to like a mexican restaurant um and i definitely over ate by the time the actual like meals came in um i was so full from the appetizer and Hernan was telling me to stop eating because he could tell that I was really full. But I didn't want to be rude and just be the only one not eating. So I ate a little bit more than I should have. And I paid the price last night. At like 3 o'clock in the morning, I was up puking my brains out. I was like, yep, should have listened. But uh, as soon as I like threw up, I'm sorry if this is TMI for you guys, but the relief I felt, my stomach stopped hurting. I felt amazing, so... Now, like, I'm kind of nervous to eat because I don't know if I should have coffee, but I feel completely fine. My stomach's actually growling. Um, I might have coffee. <laughs> I also, I think of what? I also planted, I forgot what type of flowers in this pot, pot from Trader Joe's. And, wow, they're already growing. So many of them, like, just popped out of nowhere. Uh, I, 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 I don't remember what type of flowers they were but i am hoping they look beautiful in this pot um so i've just been keeping it i need to throw these cuties out they're so old um i've been keeping them up here on this ledge and then my cactus has been thriving surprisingly Is she, do you still have water um i think she's still okay Yeah, she's still getting water in there. Um, but like those of you who don't know, I'm pretty much a plant killer. So the few plants I have that are alive mean a lot to me. <laughs> I need to empty this out. I want to get a spray bottle to spray the leaves. This one has to go. I killed it a while ago. It's just taking up space. This one, I'm actually going to go to Lowe's and something and just buy new soil and plant something in here um i'm not sure yet but let me show you guys my other plants miss thina so these are doing okay i guess i mean they're still alive I'm not, i know i'm not supposed to watering water them that much but i have two of these and they both look okay um this one i'm worried about because the roots are starting to turn brown they were originally white i don't know if you guys can see it's not focusing is it but uh i want to pot them so i think today we're going to go to lowe's and figure it out just get a nice pot and some soil and i don't know if i want to pot them all together or do some separately because it's a bunch of um uh, what, what are they called? Roots or stems? They're not all one plant. It's a bunch that we cut and put into this clear glass. So I have to figure that out. But I want a pot that will fit on here because this is the only area that Miss Athena doesn't get on. Right? You plant eater.
so it's 11.05 now. I've been sitting at my desk for a little bit over an hour. I still look like shit, please ignore it. Um, I've been watching YouTube videos on isotopes and right now I'm on ions um, just because I have an assignments to complete today for chemistry and it's based on this so I want to make sure I understand correctly and man do I love YouTube. I just learned everything on YouTube and I have my little notes here. I was so lost when he was explaining this the other day and now I think I got it based on you know the PowerPoint and YouTube videos I have been watching. I am feeling confident, but it's 11.06 and and I have to start getting ready because I am I have to go to a doctor's um, appointment. So yeah, I think I'm just gonna finish watching a few more clips of this and start getting ready. Alrighty guys, I'm in my car on my way to this doctor's appointment. I'm actually cold. Uh, I forgot that this weekend was supposed to be raining the whole day and it did rain but I totally missed it. I, I'm sitting at a window and I didn't even realize. Um, but yeah, I'm cold and I'm not loving it. <laughs> I have my um, seat warmers on and that is working beautifully. But my appointment is, at, is in 15 minutes so I should be there fairly quick. Uh, I think I have to call before I get there, like no, before I go up, so yeah. But after this appointment, I want, I need to get some stuff taken care of before I have to go and hang out with my family. I am like tight on time, I feel like, to be able to squeeze in time to study. Um, so I might be doing most of my studying later tonight. Um, and then tomorrow, like, I, I don't know. I don't know how this is gonna work because uh, I have a busy schedule. I might have to sacrifice spending time with my mom on Mother's Day tomorrow. Um, I'm not sure, or just going for a little bit, maybe an hour or two and then heading right back home. And then on top of that, I work tomorrow, so that doesn't help the case at all. Right now, so I'm gonna continue listening to the Backstreet Boys and I will catch up with you guys after my appointment. I'm hoping it doesn't take too long. Hi, um, I'm here for my 11.45 appointment. Should I wait in my uh, car? Okay. Um, I think you can actually come up right now. Okay, I'll be right there. Thank you. done with my doctor's appointment and this is actually the second doctor who wants to prescribe me anxiety medications and I just don't know if this is anxiety. I don't know how to diagnose it or I, I just don't know so I'm hesitant to start the medication. So yeah as I was saying um, this is the second doctor to want to prescribe me antidepressant medication, anti-anxiety medications and I'm kind of hesitant just because I don't really want to be on medications. Not that there's anything wrong with that at all. I don't know. I, I'm just scared. Um, <sighs> I don't even know if this is really related to anxiety. I've never been 100% diagnosed with anxiety. I guess until now. She might put that in my history. Um, so I need to do more research for myself uh, and look up the medication. She says the medication has been on the market for years. I mean, I'm familiar with it. I have seen it in patients' charts and I, I know it, but I'm just, I don't know. And then she wants me to also get like nerve studies. Um, 
an ultrasound to rule out a blood clot because she said that's obviously the only way she's going to be able to do so and as she's writing these scripts all i see is like cha-ching cha-ching how much is that going to cost me because if we're being real how <laughs> just looking for you know treatment for anything or anything healthcare related it's just like it's always so much money because insurance sucks insurance is not going to cover all of this um so i need to figure out what i want to do why is staying alive so expensive honestly all right guys so i made a quick stop at the mall and i didn't find any shoes that i liked um I kind of like the ones that Target has, the like cheetah print ones. So I think I might order those online, although that's not what I wanted to originally do. I think this will stand. I just got a new phone. All right, I think that will do. Right there. Okay. That'll have to do for now. Um. So yeah, I got a cute little wallet case that I liked. Um probably put stickers on it to decorate it myself but i am done i am probably gonna look for the shoes online it's 12 30 i'm starving so i think i'll go home this way i'm really close to my apartment complex so i'm just gonna head on home and enjoy the rest of my morning i wanted to go to michael's but i don't think that's gonna happen so i'm just gonna go home and eat <laughs> Sunday morning and I am on my way to work let me tell you guys I did not feel like waking up this morning I was just not for it <laughs> but I'm not signing up for any more Sundays after this how many times have I slept and I think I signed up for more <laughs> um but yeah so I am working triage today eight to one and it's been pretty awesome working these shifts because i can get stuff done if it's not crazy busy i think the last sunday that i worked it was busy we saw over 40 something patients in about four hours five hours so it was it was busy but good busy but anyways i'm gonna drive to work get work over with and then come back home and knock out these assignments Luckily, yesterday I took care of the kitchen. I cleaned the counters and did all the dishes. So today, I probably just have to clean the stove and just disinfect the counters. I did the bathroom counters, and today I'll disinfect everything else. So, yep. Such a beautiful day, man. <laughs> guys so i am back home oops it's currently 4 32 and i just got done doing an assignment for math i did everything for math so that's done with i have two more classes to go and i have till midnight and it's currently 4 30 and oh my god this it needs to go um but i'm starting my lab portion to um chemistry and there is one two three four four parts so i don't know if i'm actually i'm probably gonna do half of it today um because it's actually due tomorrow by midnight and my other class i have assignments due today at midnight so i'm just gonna do some of it and then i'll tackle my other class and then i still have to study for chemistry my chemistry course but i think i'll be okay um we'll see but yeah so that's what we're gonna tackle i have the um chemistry work week one lab worksheet on my on my ipad right here so i'm gonna read it and get started but this is what my sunday consists of and i think i'm gonna go one more hour or an hour and a half um and then i'm gonna get started on dinner <laughs> <laughs> 